I'm gonna just be real. This comment um, from Drew Pinkney. Uh, you see, I see a lots of good passes from Dez, especially the short and mid uh, mid range, where he, exactly where the offense is designed to attack. Mobility will be added uh, benefit we haven't seen in years. And um, my thing is, this is a response to people, you know, that that, that are just so adamant that the deep ball has to be a part of the Falcons. I don't think so. As long as this dude excels in the short intermediate, if he's just excellent, if he's an elite short ball and intermediate run, what we need to worry about the deep ball for? The deep ball is just something that's extra, all right? Tom Brady never really truly um, dominated in the deep ball game. Most of his plays and best of his, his uh, plays came in the short and intermediate route. He was absolutely amazing and dominant. The same with Aaron Rodgers. Most of the quarterbacks who are great, Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, Peyton Manning, most of these guys have made their money and the short intermediate routes. The deep ball was just an added, you know, just an added dimension. All right. So as long as Desmond Ritter is doing his thing in the short intermediate routes, why are we so adamant or so focused on him, you know, just having the deep ball? I think it's fine. I think we just making a big deal out of nothing. And, you know, to be honest, when you look at the deep ball in itself, most of the quarterbacks that, that are throwing the deep ball is around 28 to 32% completion. So the deep ball is not even that much uh, of, of a big deal. When you talk about the short and enemy routes, it goes from short for about 60 to 70% for some quarterbacks and even higher. Uh, and then the intermediate routes is about 65 to 60% anyway. So a lot of these things that we are concerned about, you know, as far as the passing game is concerned, is just all for nothing. I think it's uh, just a bunch of people that are upset that they didn't get the quarterback of their liking and the Falcons are backing a third round pick instead of backing a first round pick. I, and then, like I said before, we have so many examples when we talk about quarterbacks and where they were drafted. It didn't matter. Why? Because we got guys like Trey Lance, who's a first-round pick, and he's struggling his behind off in San Francisco for the Niner land. So let me know what you guys think about this. Devin Ritter will be fine if he dominates the short and intermediate route. Don't worry too much on the deep ball. That would come in time. Leave your comments below. Continue to support your boy, Mad Mike Sports, man. Like I said, this is another take. Hey man, if you enjoyed this video, man, just hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. It'll help a great deal.